Turn around and look glamorous. So how old are you today? 25. How does it feel? Well, it feels fine now. Thought I was going to be unemployed today, but it wasn't. Now, excuse me, dance, dancey, dancey. Good girl, good girl. Sit, sit, okay. See? My age has a bit of square number. You have to look at it from the right direction. You have two nostrils instead of one nose. Is that right? Yeah, that's a square. That's the smiley face at Emma's suggestion. Happy birthday, dear. Number 25. Hey. What's a Fibonacci number? What what? What's a Fibonacci number? That's the uh, proportions of uh, architecture. I mean, what what are the numbers? Yeah. I can't remember right off hand. Do you punch her? Do you punch her? Because I was going to go how about some presents? <laughs> Who's this from? No, it's from me. He's grinning. You always come up with these things. Well, he he was hard to buy for this year. It's not easy. But we got him a monitor. He's already got a computer monitor that's sitting in his apartment. Which is uh, his birthday present from his mother. A monitor, computer monitor. When did you get it? Uh, as I was leaving to come here. Oh. Now that. No, we didn't think trash. we should bring it. Now throw those, throw all that trash to the side, so we can see what all the goodies. All the goodies. There you go. <laughs> um. What? Why are you wearing a Bruce Lee T-shirt? Because he feels that the hairstyle is similar. Now, what is this? Uh, so this is the animation show uh, by Mike Judge and Don Hertzfeld. They put out it's, it's a bunch of animated shorts by, um, it, it is their by various people. They, they, they chose them as the best animated shorts in their opinion. Great. Oh, oh, stickers. Yeah. They're gonna go all over James. <laughs> OMG, this disturbed me disturbed me on so many levels. As your mom, I can only dream that one day you will be this cool son. <laughs> okay, who's that one from? Uh, this I don't know. It's it's from from mom. Me also. I love it. Can I see you? Huh? What did you get? What you got? Oh, okay. What do you do for Christmas? Okay, now it's birthday and Christmas. You can't scale uh, for one just because it's. I don't know, right? That is my mom. Hey, uh, it's a very priority mail Christmas. These are hard to open. I think you can pull up. Those know. things are ridiculous. No, well, she just made it. Really. And from Grandma and Granddad. <laughs> what? Grandma and Granddad. And did you notice the fabulous uh, wrapping job? Oh my gosh. Notice, notice the wrapping job. There's just the 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 like stuff stain or something here. I don't know what. Grandma's probably spilled coffee on the fridge. <laughs> Huh? Watch the button. That's actually really cool. That is pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you guys cuddling? Did you wait? Did you put All right, tip up that oh. magnificent job of wrapping. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Note how every stripe runs together. Right the way they Don't should. be disappointed. I'd be less disappointed. I'd be less disappointed in this if these. Yeah, I understand. That was a little bit off, but quite right. But it, it, it gels. <laughs> At least I mean, they're all I'm parallel. Not that oh, what is it? I, I understand. Aww. Papa like this. Thank you. Now hold it, hold it right there, just a second. Oh my God. Hold it right there, just a second. The one of Becca, we worked so hard on it to get one of him and Becca in his graduation. That's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Yeah, Becca's face is a little bit. <laughs> You guys are sweet. I've never seen that one of the bubble. Yeah, that's kind of a cool picture. It must be from a museum. Were you gonna were you gonna quote something for us? No. Well, she corrected me on the Hamlet to be or not to be soliloquy. What did she say? I was just doing as much as I knew, and then I couldn't remember the next line, and then she goes, "Hi, there's the rub." Hi, there's the rub. She knows the next line. And I what's the next line after that? that? It's so philosophical. So, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come? Aye, there's the rub, for when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us all. <laughs> there's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The proud man, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely. The pangs of despised love. The spurns that <laughs> patient merit of the unworthy takes. When he himself might his quiet is made for the bad body.